Since gaming's inception, players have been modifying their own games to improve the experience, tailor it to their own needs. For some games, like Skyrim and Grand Theft Auto, the modularity is kind of part of the charm. That's why people like them so much. Do you want Ultra HD graphics that make every blade of grass look like the Mona Lisa? Well, there's a mod for that. Or would you rather prefer that the dragons in Skyrim be replaced by Thomas the Tank Engine? There's a mod for that too. There's also a strong community-based element around sharing the mods that you've made with other players. But at the end of the day, I think it's more of a personal thing that allows gamers to construct their own experience in the game as they see fit. Which is why the radical left has now decided that mods have to be controlled. A popular Twitch streamer named John Wolf took to Twitter last week to bemoan the fact that some gamers were modding their own copies of the Resident Evil 4 remake to change the physical appearance of some of the female characters to better match their voice actresses. Looking through Nexus mods list for a Resident Evil 4 remake mods makes me want to gouge my eyes out, he tweeted. You know, for people that endlessly chant we have to respect other people's choices, they seem really intolerant when people make choices they don't agree with. What's, what's up with that? Wolf also took offense, by the way, at a mod that allowed players to mute a female character's heavy breathing noises, something he claimed meant women are to be seen and not heard. Hey, John, here's a wild idea. Just bear with me. If you don't like these mods, don't use them. I mean, isn't that what you leftists keep telling everybody anyway? If you don't like gay marriage, don't get gay married. If you don't like abortion, don't get one. Seems like that laissez-faire attitude only extends to important things, like video game mods that only the person who downloads them sees, which is, by the way, the most important and craziest part of this little temper tantrum here. All the mods he's complaining about are for use in the game's single-player mode, meaning if he hadn't intentionally gone online in the first place, he never would have seen them. But maybe if enough lefties complain about these mods, Nexus Mods, the website, will engage in some good old-fashioned censorship like they did last year. When Spider-Man Remastered hit the PC, gamers noticed that there were an overwhelming amount of gay pride flags. One user, who preferred his web sling to be free of LGBT propaganda, decided to release a mod that changed all the pride flags into American flags, because who doesn't like a little patriotism when they're fighting the bad guys? Nexus Mods promptly lost its mind and removed it. They also banned the user, saying that in regards to the replacement of pride flags in this game, or any game, our policy is thus. We are for inclusivity. We are for diversity. If we think someone is uploading a mod on our site with the intent to deliberately be against inclusivity and or diversity, then we will take action against it. And they tried to justify their actions by claiming that the mod was uploaded by a troll who was trying to be provocative. Okay, so what? Why, why does it matter if it was a troll? There are plenty of mods that exist on the site that are purely for shock value, but they get to stay up. And in fact, a mod that replaced all the American flags with gay pride flags was allowed to stay up, despite that it was obviously a trolling move. So trolling is allowed now? I guess only if it advances the left's politics. It bears repeating, by the way, that both the mods dealing with the flags only worked on the game of the person who downloaded it. There was literally zero risk that some fragile alphabet snowflake was going to encounter this mod in the wild. Don't worry, your pride flags are safe. Removing the mod was all about control. It's about, if you don't like it, you have to deal with it. Leftists like Wolf think that if they can just force their politics into video games, people will have to believe what they do. But those leftists can't get their politics to stick if gamers can just mod their games to get rid of the woke crap. If players have the option to change their games as they see fit, there's a real danger that they'll choose different options than what the radical left wants, and we can't have that. That's why this desire to censor modding is so dangerous. It traps gamers into playing only what the radical left wants them to play. And if Wolf is any indication, that's going to suck. So instead of accepting this depressing reality, gamers should do what they've always done. Keep on modding our games the way we want to, regardless of what the woke Puritans say. Don't give another inch of ground to people whose only mission is to push a political message at the expense of enjoying one of the last few cultural hobbies not completely infected by the left. And unfortunately, until now, and uh, I'm not seeing it in the future, there's no mod to remove annoying leftists from gaming. <sighs> Maybe somebody should get on that.